Welcome to this edition of the MTBCHR tutorial. In this tutorial session, you'll learn about a new version of the chart template under chart section. So let's go ahead and click on patient search tab in order to select the patient first. Under patient search tab, right click on the patient name whom you wish to select and then select option charts in order to directly go to the charts tab. Now once you are under charts tab you can go ahead and click on new button in order to launch a new chart for this patient and it takes you to the patient chart. On the bottom left there's a button that says chart templates click on top of it and by clicking on chart template it takes you to the chart template window now on the left hand column you see a list of predefined chart templates if you wish to modify or apply these templates on the existing chart you can go ahead and select the chart template first now in order to modify the existing chart template select the chart template and then click modify and then you can go ahead and start documenting the information the first option is to select category from this list and then you can go ahead and type in comments such as chart 1 the next thing you can do is make some changes to the following systems such as reason for visit I'd like to go ahead and remove examination and type in checkup as well as if you'd like to move forward and remove this chromosomal abnormality select the text and hit backspace or delete button and uh, you can type in anything such as I'd like to go ahead and type in insomnia now another option of adding and removing text is by clicking on next button right here once you click on next button it's gonna go ahead and highlight the text in yellow color now if you wish to remove disturbed from this list you can go ahead and leave this disturbed box unchecked and check normal box like this and then press next button and then it has removed disturbed and normal is there so this is how you can remove and add text under these following systems once you have done necessary changes to the chart template you can go ahead and save the template by clicking on save button and then you can go ahead and apply it on the existing patient's chart by clicking on apply button as well as you can click on apply and print to get a printout of this chart template you also have the option of deleting an existing chart template by selecting the chart template and then hit delete option now if you wish to make changes to the existing patient chart from this chart template window you have the option of charts here select this option and you have a drop down list as well as the systems such as I'm gonna go ahead and select review of systems and then you can document one of the following systems I'm gonna go ahead and select psychiatric and then select one of the options such as in case of the patient reported anxiety or insomnia as well as you can type in comments such as sleep disturbance and then I'll go ahead and press OK now that saves the information on the existing patient chart instead of the chart template last but not the least is a function from which you can import the current chart into this chart template for example you can go ahead and click on import current chart as soon as you click on import current chart the chart is imported into chart template window you can make necessary changes and once you're done making changes you can click on save option and that existing chart 
which has been imported into chart template would be saved as a chart template so this is how you can use the chart template feature under chart section we hope that this feature explains you the functionality and purpose of the chart template as well as thank you for watching this edition of the MTBC ESR tutorial